Good morning, good morning. The world has together here in Lake Placid, New York. In Lake Placid, the word is speed. Before long, they are flying where every little thing matters. The conditions, no rain in the air. Maybe here comes the sun off in the distance. I want to tell you that is just an impressive, impressive young athlete. So she'll get back to the top. Now 27 year old Shelly Rudman. In fact, her birthday is next month. She'll be 28. It could be a good night for the Germans. It's a long, long, long competition. Track workers could be here fixing a hole in the track before too long. What will be the case here in San Mer or here in Lake Placid? It's been a long and winding road this season, so sometimes I forget where we're where we are. So as you're watching, tell me what you see as these sleds come down. So I will try to answer your emails if you send some questions and comments. But it's been misery so far for virtually everyone. So a little bit of a wait here, and then we get going. This magical mystery tour of a World Cup, World Championship skeleton season winds down here in Lake Placid, New York. Next up, we've got Emma Lincoln-Smith. She's a woman that used to be a competitive surfer. And you can't do that. Be back in the USSR with a World Championship medal. We'll need some help with the pronunciation. Any time at all is fine for some of these athletes. They just want to make it down successfully. She's not saying it's all too much here, this big of an event. In the Swiss Alps, when you have a good day sunshine, tell me why this is happening. So this event has just been so unpredictable. Helter Skelter from top to bottom. All together now, everyone yells at the top. What goes on here in Lake Placid? This was a revolution several years ago, the one-handed start. Michelle Steele. The night before that fifth place finish, I spoke with Terry Holland. It's so easy to get down to the bottom and say to yourself, I'm a loser when you're 19th out of 19, but I should have known better than to have false hope at the top. Something interesting has been happening here. Just a day in the life on the competitive circuit for these athletes. It won't be long before we return to action here with the final six sleds. I've got a feeling no one else is going to move into the top 10. Yes, it is. One crazy sport skeleton. And the thing was easy for no one. It was just a challenge for even the best athletes. In my life covering this sport, I don't think I'm all alone for this run with a little help from my friends for the next three as I think she is just gonna walk away after this week and let it be and regroup for next season. As an announcer, this boy is still somewhat confused as to what's happened to Jessica Killian. It's getting better down here at the bottom part of the track for her. She looks like she's okay. She says, I'm down with this. I was predicting a top 15 nonetheless. Don't let me down, Birka. So thanks for tuning in. What you're doing is watching live and streaming here. Also simulcast in several nations on television, including in the USA. If you have been paying attention, closely to our coverage here of the first heat of the world championships then you will have heard the title of 53 Beatles songs. We will concentrate solely on skeleton when we return here in about a half hour for our live coverage the second run of the 2009 Bauhaus FIBT world championships coming your way until then I'm Tim Singer thanks for joining us so long